Linux is very powerful and flexible, but it's not just one system. There are many versions called distributions or distros. In this video, we will look at the three main Linux groups, Debian, Red Hat, and Arch. We will talk about popular distros in each group, who makes them, what they are based on, and what they are good for. Let's begin. First, let's talk about the Debian family. Debian is one of the oldest and most reliable Linux distros. It's made by a global community, not a company. Debian is known for being very stable and secure, but it's not always the newest or flashiest. Popular distros based on Debian, Ubuntu by Canonical, one of the most popular Linux distros. Very user-friendly and good for desktops, servers, and the cloud. Linux Mint by the Mint team, based on Ubuntu. Made to look familiar for Windows users. Great for beginners who want a clean, easy system. Pop OS, by System76, based on Ubuntu. Focused on developers and people who do creative work like design or engineering. Kali Linux by Offensive Security, based on Debian. Designed for cybersecurity experts and ethical hackers. Comes with tools for testing security. Now let's talk about the Red Hat family. The Red Hat family of Linux distros follows a step-by-step -step path, where each one builds on the other. First, we have Fedora. Fedora is fast, modern, and always getting the latest features. It's completely free and made by Red Hat. This is where new ideas and technologies are tested first. It's mostly used by developers and people who like cutting-edge software. Then comes CentOS Stream. Once features are tested in Fedora, they move into CentOS Stream. It's more stable than Fedora but still free. It's great for developers and testers who want a more stable version than Fedora, but still want it to be free. Next, we have RHEL, which stands for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. This is the final, stable version built from everything that was tested before. RHEL is made for businesses. It's not free, but it comes with long-term support, security updates, and tools for professional use. Big companies often use RHEL on their servers and in data centers. And finally, we have Rocky Linux and Alma Linux. These are free community-made versions that copy RHEL exactly. They're perfect for people or companies who want the same stability as RHEL, but without paying. Next, let's talk about the Arch family. Arch Linux is the main distro here. It's not made by a company. It's community-run. Arch is known for being lightweight, customizable, and always up-to-date, but it's not easy for beginners. Popular distros based on Arch, Manjaro by the Manjaro team, based on Arch Linux. Easier to install and use. Comes with a desktop and apps pre-installed. Great for users who want Arch power without the hard setup. Endeavor OS by the Endeavor OS community, based on Arch Linux. More focused on the terminal but still easier to install than pure Arch good for people who want to learn Linux deeply. If you're new to Linux or want to start learning it, there are several great distros to choose from. Some are beginner-friendly, fast, and modern. My recommended distro for beginners is Ubuntu. It's made by Canonical and is one of the most widely used Linux distros, especially on servers. Ubuntu is very user-friendly and has a huge, active community. Why does a bigger community matter? First, it means more software packages are available, and those packages tend to be more stable. Also, if you ever run into a problem, there's a much higher chance you'll find a solution online, whether on forums, websites, or YouTube tutorials. There are other distros that might be faster or more modern than Ubuntu, but the strong community support makes Ubuntu a great place to start. Thanks for watching. Which Linux family or distro do you use, or want to try? Let me know in the comments. If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. In the next video, we'll install Ubuntu the easy way, using VirtualBox, right inside your Windows or Mac system. See you in the next one.